Celebrity Treasure Island is finally returning to our screens and who better to pick apart the latest batch of celebrities with me than Fans vs Faves winner Maddie McLean. Maddie, how Hi. excited are you for another season? I get a little too into this every yeah. season. Okay. <laughs> me too, Yeah, my, my husband Ryan's always going, oh my God, there's another season mm -hmm. that you will not shut up about for the next couple of months. Yeah. But I am so excited. I'm excited too. I went down there and met the contestants and I went in with this idea of who I thought was gonna win uh -huh. and by the end of it, I was like, I have new favorites. Maybe they're people you've never heard of. I think Kiwis are gonna feel the same. End of episode one, they're gonna be like, I love that person. I'm gonna go on that journey. First up, we have got AD Walker, actor, director. Um, she was great. I really liked her. I didn't feel like she was a game player. No. Um, an absolute sweetheart. Felt like she would carry it for the team, but I feel like maybe I've got her at 13. Next up, we have got Bubba. Everyone loves Bubba. Tina from Turner's comedian. Mm. She was great on her season of Taskmaster. Very funny. Now, I have given Bubba a somewhat surprising prediction. Okay. I think she might win. She might win? I've got her at number one right now. I could be talked down, but I think she's going to be in that final race. Now, another rugby legend. We've got Christian Cullen. Mm. I feel like the CTI of old, mm -hmm. when Josh Cromfeld won, was really all about yes. just being competitive, hardworking. Yeah. If you lit fires around camp, you were gonna go far kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't really work that way anymore. So I feel like Christian Cullen might be someone a little bit like Josh Cromfeld. Yeah. Where did Josh get in your season? Uh, he was 12th. This is the one everyone is interested in. Uh, Carmel Cipollone, now. There's a lot of heat on the fact that she's an act our first active politician to be in the show. Um, I think she was brilliant. Yeah, she's she, amazing. She knew what she was going to be asked straight off the bat. Yeah. She had all the answers, she had the game, she had the strategy, and she was a real team player. However, I have her at 15. 15? I am, I just didn't feel necessarily like she wanted to be there that long. Yeah, right. But I mean, she's got stuff to do. That was she's my busy. She's busy. Like, I'm just Spanky Jackson. We love Spanky. We love Spanky. Oh my goodness. So much fun. There is a lot going on after watching the first challenge. I saw chicken fillets flying out of bras. Yeah. There was nails. There was hair everywhere. Yeah. There were some logistical nightmares that I think we might have to contend with on the island. Duncan Garner. Now, as soon as I got there, he was causing trouble. Brilliant. He was immediately causing trouble. I did not hear him stop talking for maybe 48 hours. I don't know that he ever does stop talking. <laughs> maybe he's going to snake his way right to the finish. He was a game player for sure. Now, next up, we have someone who I think could be a bit of a schemer this season. Mm -hmm. Tamati Coffey. I felt like he was super intelligent, super likeable. There was definite gameplay. Oh, like, 100%. He will, he will wheel, he will deal, he will slither and slide through this I love it. grass like a snake to do whatever he needs to do to get to the top. Casey Copua, netball legend. Incredible. I wouldn't be surprised if she made it all the way to top four. Okay. I'm gonna put her in four. James Rolleston, he was such a delight to chat to because he hasn't watched the show much at all. So he was kind of asking for it to be explained to him what's about to happen. And I'm sitting there going, my guy, you're just, Incredible. <laughs> it's almost better you don't know. Ex yes, except it always amazes me the amount of people who agree to go on a show like CTI and then decide not to watch There it. were so many this season. So I think he's going to do quite well. Second. Second. Yeah. We have got actor Gabby Solomwana, and she was very funny, very sweet. I didn't know anything about her going to the show, and I, I've got her in 12th. Now, Janae Henry, who is a comedian, she was very excited about it, but she wasn't sure about how she was gonna go, and she was quite nervous about that side of things. Her, She was just excited to be there. For that reason, I've got her in 17th. I was gonna say, I think she might be the first out. Now we have the very lovable JP. He is the biggest sweetheart. He's incredible. Oh my God, adored him. Didn't know anything about JP going oh, in. You go watch. Now I'm a big fan. Go watch Red, White and Blue yes. Brass. It yes. is such a good movie and he is fantastic in it. 
He is also somebody who was instantly likable going into the show. He was quite physical, yep. smart, yep. funny. The whole team was gravitating towards him. I was tempted to put him as my winner. <gasps> Okay. <laughs> but I pushed him back a little bit. Okay. I think so. Next up is actress Michelle Langstone. Loved her. She's great. Oh my God. I so wanted smart to as be well. The power yeah. To chat with her yes. all day. Yeah. I agree. Very smart. She could easily have the brains to get further than I'm giving her credit yes. for. I agree. I have her at seven. Yep. Now, she was good pals with our next uh, contestant, Millen Bard, and Millen was very funny. Well, you've got your Millens, you've got your Michelles, your 80s. There's a lot of actors there. That's what I mean about that industry, group. And they will all know each other. Yep. And so there's a lot of really early, easy alliances yep. to be made. Now we have got gorgeous international model, Vinnie Woolston. Vinnie was on, on his own path immediately. Mm. Vinnie was down the beach, twirling a stick, just like in his own mind, which was great, but it's a team game. Now we've got Wairangi Kōpū and he is a unit. Oh yeah. Holy mm. smokes. Is he this season's Art Green, where they're gonna go, big strong boy, gotta go. And Art Green, and Nick Alfour. Yeah. Uh, there's so many people that we've seen like this who you go, really likeable. Yeah. Obviously really strong, but absolutely someone that you'll wanna get out. Next up, we've got Mia Motu, and she was incredibly physical immediately. I thought she'd be a huge threat straight out the gate. Well, she's a boxer and a very good boxer. Correct. Yes. I have interviewed her a couple of times. I actually did a um, training session with her did on you? breakfast. Did you? How'd that go? N well, not good for me. <laughs> uh, she, I reckon she could win the whole thing. One of the most iconic names in television, Suzanne Paul. Obsessed, however. <laughs> I have her out first. First? Who are you picking now that we've got to the end of the pack as your number one? Who's it gonna be? Oh. Okay, I've changed my mind. Okay, exciting. And I think I'm going to put James Rolleston as my winner this season. Okay. Yeah. I love this. I I think I might change mine to Jake. JP? Yeah, well, I had him in second. Yep. And I had Bubba in first, but actually when I think about those two head-to-head -head in a final, I think... think jp has got it. Well, fingers crossed. Game I on. wish you luck. <laughs> <laughs> what should we put? Yeah, I know, do we put <laughs> money on this or what do we do? Okay. Okay, amazing. Well, we are so excited for Celebrity Treasure Island and make sure you tune in to see if we're right. Yes. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. We'll see you there. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest New Zealand Herald news. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of these videos and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more news worth knowing.